There's a bottle right here, and it, I don't want to pull it because it's really in there. Like something's maybe inside of it holding it. And then there's another piece of stoneware right there. So. I got, oh, got it. it. He's got it? He's got it. Oh, it's all in. No way. Dude, there's blue on the front. What's up, guys? Uh, out here today on this property we were at last <laughs> week where we got some good stuff over there. We're in a corner pit here. Mike just popped that out. Older uh, Charles and Phillips, same company that made Milk of Magnesia. That's the oldest thing to come out of the pit so far. A lot of newer stuff, a lot of 30s and 40s stuff. But... Got a hat too. Yeah, an old, yeah, just pulled an old a hat. hat. And we're in a trash layer down the corner. Yep, we're on bottom and uh, it's in the corner, so hopefully Mike can pop something out that's not mid-century. <laughs> or once you guys take over, hopefully you get something. All right, guys, just finished up the pit over here in the corner. You're not going to see much footage from it because it just wasn't really anything great. Uh, it was an older pit that had been dipped heavily and then modern, more modern stuff was thrown on top of it like 1930s and 40s stuff so we're uh, filling this one. We got another one over here though that we're just starting so hopefully this one will be better. I'll be able to see it, I don't know. If you get down the hole you will. Alright, uh, we got Shane in the hole. We are digging as pit next to this new one that we just finished it was a huge dud this one seems older we're getting some pieces but there's a big thick cap layer that's probably two feet yep. of clay and rocks and just very tough to get through but finally threw it this piece just popped out too and and see it. a bot. it's an older flask i didn't even see that it's a strap side yeah but. not like not like old old he's He's got a, I could show him maybe. Lot showing. Can you see this, guys? I'm hoping it's uh, it's kind of skinny, so I hope it's not like some crown top. I I hope it's like the New Jersey bottle I got in the other pit that was like a soda water or mineral mineral water. So we're gonna find out and see what it is. Let's see, there's another bottle in there. Oh yeah, that looks like a flask. Yeah, flask or some type of pharmacy or something. I can see pretty decent right here if you can dig. Alright, yeah, I should be able to. It seems like it is decently thick, the layer. Yeah, is it the bottom right there or is it another it's, bottle? It's another bottle, it's broken, but this seems broken too. Nope. Not super old though. Still warranted. Mm -hmm. Not exactly what we were hoping for. But at mm -hmm. least glass. That makes me skeptical of this. I think this unfortunately could be could be what I thought the other one was going to be, which was just a crown top soda. I hope not. I mean, at least it's not the age of the stuff that we were digging next door. But let's see if I can get this thing out. It's coming. Yep, crown. Yeah. It's not skinny like I thought either. Frank Zeller? No. George B. Felker no. Montrose. I've dug those. Have you? It's at least not machine made. Thank God. Nothing crazy, crazy, but I mean, whatever. At least we're in the trash. Yeah. There's a jar. Be something good. Oh, just some masons. I wish Mike dug that. He would have been stoked on it. Is it the ground lip, right? Yeah, it's ground. The stuff is like decent age. Like there could be something in here. Smoke glass thing's coming out. It's either broken or it's something very unusual. Or both. Because it's got a weird shape. It's like a milk glass biscuit jar or something. Probably would have actually been a decent piece. Hey guys, we got a little audience over here. Ryan's got some bottles in the hole. We're getting a little deeper. Let's see if I can get down uh, you guys walk over here, you as guys much as I can. Uh, Try to show you guys. Oh wow. You think you could take it right or no? I can probably take it. There's one, it's like an ink, I think. Yep. 
Just a cone egg. Cone egg. You think that I could come over and help? What, today? Yeah. I mean, if you want to come over here and hang out, you can come over here and hang out. You don't mind There's a pain king or something. Oh, uh, it's the Portland, Maine, right? Nothing on it. No. Uh, it looks like those, uh, it almost looks like the cure for drunkenness bottles. The Keeleys? Yeah. Cure for drunkenness, tobacco habit. My dad I don't know what. Yeah. This is cursive yeah. writing, so they know. Beer bottle. Looks like a whiskey, uh, wine bottle. It's a beer. Oh, yeah. It's the Wilkes-Barre. Standard. Right? Standard. Oh, yeah. it's Stagmeyer. Stagmeyer. It's a Wilkes Bear. At least it's a nice looking Stagmeyer. They make some that are really ugly. You got a jar, Mike. You do. Looks. Oh or maybe it's a milk. Could be a milk. I hope it's a milk. I think it's a milk. If it's a milk, it's probably a really early one. I have a whole ton of old jars in my basement. Cool. Hey, you know, anybody that comes over, hey, if you does this in the backyard, it's like real life Minecraft. Yeah. Up. No blocks. Yeah. I wish it was that easy. <laughs> the dirt just like compiles into these little bursts. It's a milk. Oh, nothing on it. Milk? Nothing on it? Yeah, nothing. Really? It's early too. Does it say wash and return on the back? Yeah. That is nice. Milk it says milk. on the back. Yeah. Come on. Oh, I knew it would be early if it was a milk. Nice early stuff. That's so annoying. That could have been a nice break. Let me go get a gloves. Some help. Yeah, it's up to you. It might take me a little while because the bears get What's that a larkin? <clears throat> it's got like a snake and something on Monogram, it. Monogram, yeah, it's a, it's a larkin. That is really has a little water in it. Decent looking bottle though. Larkin Soap Company. Yeah, it's got like a snake on it. Mm -hmm. It's a little, little green bottle. Yeah. Milk bottles looked like that right up until the 1940s. Yeah. What the the piece of stoneware. Dude, nice. I see that. Yeah, he's got a stoneware. I don't know. It seems pretty solid, so. Really? Is it white or salt glazed? It's salt glazed, I think. Really? Yeah. Dude, that would be awesome. Even. That would be killer. Here, can you hold the camera? Yeah, let me. I'll try to. Get a little bird's eye view here, you guys, until. Until Ryan's got it more exposed, and then hopefully he can try to film it for you guys up close. See what he's got there. It looks oh, good, dude. dude, no way. That's, That's a big a, piece It looks of like a wear. jug. Might be a crock. Looks like a jug. Somebody's getting dirt on me. That's like, that looks like a jug. It'd be nice if it's a whiskey jug with a great bend written on it. Careful, Grace, I'm not. Careful. You're making the dirt rain. Don't want to have anything fall on him. Also, rocks carefully you don't head. fall in there, bud. It's salt glaze, so that's a really good sign. Yeah. Oh, dude, YouTubers. this could be killer. Yeah, you can check this out on YouTube. Yeah, we always have videos coming out. I'll write it down for you. It's Parlor City Is there Pickers. like a stick up there or something? Uh, Is there a stick? Dig there, with the other. Dig with bark. the other side of that. Just dig with the handle. It doesn't really work that great. It's too thick. It would take me a couple minutes to get the gloves. Is there I a found them a couple days ago. You want to find them a stick, Mike? I was looking for all my summer stuff. I found it in. Here, uh, hey, right in here. Threw it right past you. Are you guys just going to keep going down or like sideways? It yeah, depends, it depends on, uh, on how it goes. Right now we're going down because way back when they dug bear, this, they went down. Bear, come here. No. Bear, no. do not bark. It's yeah. looking good, guys. Oh, no. Looking good. All right, guys. Ryan's got that stoneware. He's about ready to dig it out. Oh, it is an ovoid. Yeah, thought so. The rim's there. Ooh, handles there. That looks nice. It looks pretty good, dude. I like it. Like the it. bottle right there. It's moving. It's not going to force it yet. I think it's ready. No, it's open, not yet. I'm getting good footage here. Yeah. There you go, Ryan. That's a good view. 
Let's see it. It's Let's not see ready. It's no? No. Dig There's it something like on this corner in a it? bottle. Yeah. A bottle. A few bottles. Oh, it's a whiskey. Dude, that almost looks like a Conrad's, no? I think it's amber. The top? Oh, there's another lid. That looks sort of interesting. Yeah, it does. From up here. Ah, oh, that's not what I thought. I'll take that insert too, that's right by your little spade thing. A couple flasks. There's a, this is like a whiskey or something down there. It's right up against the thing. I don't want to budge it. Yeah, which which one? <laughs> the the crocs got to come first, it looks like. Watch the dirt. Yep, sorry, boss. Another something there. Yeah, this is looking killer. I'm hopping in after him. <laughs> I'll probably pull something in. Ten minutes later, you'll be in. And then I'll hop in. <laughs> There's just stuff like jammed all around it, so. Well, at least huh. you found it. I guess the trash layer's thicker than we thought if it has a stoneware crop. Oh, there's in a it. whole plate. Oh, cool. Stamp, too. Carlington pottery. It's Carlington. Berry. It's got a flower <coughs> decoration on it. We're just about to get this out. <coughs> yeah. I just pulled this plate. Carlton pottery coat. Look at all this nice. bottle just jammed on it. You want to take the camera? Oh, I had a slug plate. Yeah, did, did it? Barry. Oh, he's oh. Over at my house. Are you getting a good film? Here. Yeah. Stop barking. Yeah. All right. I mean, I have my flashlight. I'm getting good footage. Let's move this Maybe. stuff out of the way. There's a pipe. Pipe bowl. Yeah. A tobacco pipe. Oh, man, it's, there's something like it's right. something still in it. I think there might be something in it. And that's what's sticking it there. Yeah. Grace and careful. Watch the dirt. Sorry, boss. Yeah, just don't get too close to that edge. If you want a better view of There's the, another piece of stoneware. No way. Really? Yeah. Dude, no way. Uh, I, I don't want to budge it. Yeah, I hear you. Just take it easy. Get him a close up of it while it's still in the hole, just for the heck of it. Looks awesome. Maybe you get him a close up of the other piece, too. All right. That's incredible. There's one. The rim is right there. We're not sure what it looks There's like. There's a bottle right like. here, and it. I don't want to pull it because it's really in there. Yeah, like something's them, you know, maybe inside of it holding it. And then there's another piece of stoneware right there. So. Yeah, Grayson, if you actually back up and you come around. We get over here. You can stand. Like, it's gonna be at least close. Watch the bottles and stuff. Oh man, it's almost like a root is going in it. I don't know. That might not be good. Here. Wow. Yeah. See it down there? It looks like an old pottery base. Yeah, it's old pottery. Oh, yeah, there's bottles. Yeah, it's there's looking bottles. good down there. You guys hit the jackpot. <laughs> this this is a really good find, honestly. Oh man, how is it? There's a root right here, and I almost think it might be going inside of it. Oh, I I see that. You can't like. I can't get. You can't pull it. I can't pull it because it it'll, towards you. It'll no. Hmm. You might be able to pull it like out like back. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There's a plate there. Man, the suspense is killing me. I'm, really I'm sure curious. I am too. Well, I just want to get the thing out without a break in. Right. It's like, look, I can't. Oh, man. It's stuck. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I Maybe just keep getting underneath it yeah, like that. Try and get underneath it. I have a. Uh, Grayson I brought think this. This root is like inside of it and might be just balled up. Brock do I give him this? I can't even move right now. Brock was looking for you. Like, Ryan, do you want this thing? It might help you. Give me a saw, maybe. Saw? Why? Hey, Grayson, could you go over there and grab one of the little hand saws that's in that yellow bucket over along the fence? Uh, Thank you, bud. Cutting a little root. Gotta cut a root. Yep. Thank you, man. Man, dude, it's, right, here, it's looking good. There you go, Ryan. Oh, I oh, got, got it. it. 
He's got it? He's got it. Oh, it's all in. No way. Dude, there's blue on the front. Oh, oh there is. No awesome, way. Dude. dude. It's got a flower. You're kidding me. That is so great. Let's go. Sweet. That's awesome. pretty that's pretty early too. Yeah, it's early. Dude, that's that's pretty old. First full one. I don't see a stamp though. Mike, you could jug the dar jar. I want to dig the other piece of stone. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you get the other stoneware. I'll dig the jar. That's dude, cool with me, dude. Killer. And I'll let Ryan get the whiskey. Let's I'll go. get that whiskey out. Yeah, Ryan, watch your head for a sec. I'm oh, gonna. Yeah. Oh, I want to get a view of him holding it, but like in the hole. Huh. Look at that root going right around the bottle. Dude, that's awesome. That that is crazy. That's the root is going right find. around. It. Yeah. That is a killer find. Give it back to what Ryan. What is that? What the heck is that? Looks um, like a screwdriver piece. That's, it's got to be made of an early material. It doesn't look like it's old, but that's got to be old. Oh yeah, dude, it's one of the, it's like the, it's like one of the Kilmer things. It's a medical, um. Apparatus? Yeah. You would insert it into a not so fun place. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's got the whiskey. He's got the whiskey. Person, it would be cool to make one of these out of like, a uh, thing and hide. Is it? It's early. Is it? Is it Not Ponnel, but it's... That's is cool. it three-piece mold? No. Looks like they had meat in here. Hand that's that a, croc back that, to Ryan. I want to get a, a, I got looks you, Looks like a T-bone snake. Here you go. Dude, congratulations, Ryan. Hold that that's thing amazing. up. That's, that's amazing. That's great. Sweet. That's, that's like, that's Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Man, so dude, that's dope. killer, Ryan. So it looks perfect, too. I don't see any issues with it. There's a couple of... Little dingies, but that's killer. That, that whiskey they look like they're in the really? making. When it was when I saw it with salt glaze and old void, I'm like, it had to have been decorated. That's a great piece. Yeah, it is. That's, that's awesome. Uh -huh. Look at the neck on that. Oh, that's yeah, that's crude. Wow. That's that's pretty early. That's probably 1870s. All right, I'm gonna move this. Sorry about the dirt. I'm gonna put this over. This thing almost looks. Yeah, Congratulations, Ryan. Ryan. It's like great. green. Yeah, All right. There's Ryan a, out. There's another one in there. Really? It's yeah. not. It's not as old as that I'll one. I'll go in, but I'm not. The other one's not salt right It's. It's. I can't tell what it is. It looks almost somewhere. yellowish. Hmm. Oh. This could be like a chamber pot or something like that. Huh. Hmm. So I'll do that. I'm just going to post off the Okay. Okay. So you know. Yeah. No problem. I came out, that's what I came out for, but when I saw it, I'm like, wait, I gotta see. Yeah, you brought us luck. You were here for, uh, you yeah. brought us luck, so. <laughs> yeah. Where's the jar? The jar's deep. Deep, like right here? Uh, in the middle more, yeah. Right yeah, there. right in there. Where'd you put that thing at? What? The stone. Oh, yeah, she that. The next one, right that stone yeah. right down there, it looks really nice. What does it look like? Mike, I have a little It's rounded like his, but a little bit smaller. Okay. Smaller. Damn, yeah, it's that's... still salt glaze. Just they like must there. have threw that thing out because they probably used it as a chamber pot. Here's a doll know. head. Why else would they throw it? I mean, you know, doll. Or a little porcelain figure. Yep. German. Yeah. German oh, porcelain. Oh, German oh, porcelain doll. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That is cool. Just by finding something small and insignificant like Broken that tells us they had kids. Yeah. You know, yeah, you can learn a lot kids. from the things you find. I don't want that one. And tobacco pipe, we know they smoked. Yeah. We knew they had kids. Yeah, we know they were drinkers. Tobacco pipe. Yeah, I'm showing that. It's like, wow. The ink bottles, you know, we knew that they were literate. Uh huh. Yep. So. Cool. Where did cool those to... ink bottles go? Anyway. Uh, they're around somewhere. We're going to give one of them to you if you want to. Ryan, you got your wish. Yeah. The, the, the pit was worth it now. It is. What do you guys think of this? Cool. Cool. Yeah. Those actually might have went together. Hey guys, Mike's in the hole down there and he's got some bottles showing. We're going to try to film them best we can. Grayson, I might have to get right where I you are. I got two bottles showing. Sorry. One looks like a milk. Here's one. It's embossed. Oh, is it? It's a Utica druggist. Cool, dude. Ooh, maybe Fred DiCarlo. Fred DiCarlo. Arthur S. Evans & Co. Druggist, Utica, New York. That's like a nice, a nice one. one. It Dude, is. Yeah, is it pictorial? No. No. It's a just nice one. It's a, just nice embossing. Yeah. We That's... do have a stoneware jug down here that Shane's going to be digging soon. Yep. It's right oh. over there. That's what I had exposed. I do got a lot Sweet, of trash dude. right here, though. Another bottle. WT so, Co. Another one, one of those. bunch of those have come out. Yep. Right. So, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You're good. Before you get in the 
I'm getting before, in after him. Oh, before you get in the hole, can uh -huh. I grab those pieces of glass there? You want them? You want to look at them? No, I was going to grab them and put them up here. If this, you want. This one seems this like it's good. a milk. I'll grab them for you. Okay. There's an eyeglass lens. <laughs> cool. It's weird that there's milks in here. Like, They're early milks, milks though. Yeah. Not like super early. The one wasn't. The one was like, it was like What's 19. What's the oldest thing that you guys have gotten? That piece of pottery. So like far, in this so hole far. or like ever? Ever. Uh, I dug a, You're George I've dug like stuff from the 1600s, but oh. not glassware. It's been metal from metal oh. detection. I dug a George Washington button from when he was being inaugurated to presidency. First president, First United, president States. Of the United States. First president of the United States, 1789. Almost got well, it. There's actually two bottles here, maybe three. Oh, three. Three? Three? You want three. to show the camera if they could see? Yeah, yeah, I can show them. Oh, you're going back to the left, yeah. Going back this way, yeah. That way Shane can hit his side. Well, I had glass yeah, I over there, I just left it. No, I was like, I'm going to win. So, I got two bottles, two bottle lips right there, right under the milk, and then I got the milk here. You got a light big enough that we can dig even if it's... Then, I got another one right there, too. I got four bottles in the hole. The biggest Save me one. The one's right next to your stoneware, so I ain't touching it. Yeah. But here's that. Here's that. Let's see the first one. And another one of those things. He's got oh, another mud thing. And another, another one of those things. <laughs> That's all they were? I got we have milk four of those right here. He's got a milk down there, he said. There's a bottle. She's out and she's whole. Milk. Yeah, she's, she's a slick, just like the other one. Yeah, figured. It's, it sucks though, because it's old. Like, why? Wash and return. They're nice old milks, dude. Cheapos. There's an ink. Ink bottle. Say anything on it? No, but it's, it's a really odd looking one. Let me see. It's kind of a different ink bottle. It's got like a sheared top so yeah there's like no lip to it it's just like a yeah straight. it's just unless it's broken like that I don't think so. it could be, I things don't break like that though yeah they do they, they they'll do. snap they right that like that i don't see any it did, it's not i don't up. see an embossing on it mm. it could be really faint on did there you guys sometimes. have to go through a lot of rock in this um a decent amount more roots than rock but <laughs> Yeah, there were a lot of rocks. Lot. But Shane's back in the hole. We're down in here. Me. Right. Got the stoneware. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, it's a pitcher. Oh, that's Is a pitcher. Really? But I, but I think it it's stone? like a stoneware pitcher. Though. Oh, like we dug. Like uh, kind of like what Rob got. I could probably get down there in there with you. Probably could. I hope it's stoneware or not. It looks stoneware to me. It's not like just some. Yeah, that's stoneware. Yeah. That could be cool. Looks like a pot. The bottle in it. A There's some stuff. The shape of it, maybe. You got a whiskey flask or a cylinder over whiskey here. Whiskey yeah, I'm fine. Okay, good. Yeah. I'm glad you found it. <laughs> Be careful pulling that. Yeah, no. That's right on the lip. Another little glue, glue thing. Glue cement bottle. Is it stoneware? I don't know. Pretty sure it is. See that line? Yeah. Pretty sure it is. What's the bottom? Yeah, it is. Mm. Now hopefully it's in size, because I don't think these will be decorated, but could be stenciled. This one's complete too, I think. What are you gonna do after this one? You're not supposed to say that. You're gonna jinx it. No, you're, you're the one who's gonna jinx it by saying that. Hmm. Take that early insert. Knock on wood. I'm gonna break that insert now. I want this stick. <laughs> He's got a stick for you. Uh, maybe. Sure. Hey Ryan, if you want to pass me up that porcelain insert. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry, I'm a garden nerd. <laughs> we'll give it to you. Another one of those little glue things. Looking good. It's got a flake chip there, but it's not the end of the world. Not going to cry over that. I could probably figure out to show you what I found. See, that root is like, that's what the root yeah, was like. Yeah, dude, it might have saved them in a way. Could have. My name is Brian Old Sister in the Hell of Water. 
it's kind of loose. I'm not gonna obviously force it or anything, but mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what it is. I'm sick of pulling these things, man. We pulled like 20 of these things. I loved whatever that was. Best product ever. There's a piece of a jar. Another piece of it. Sorry, Mike, I said the J word. Oh, uh, he wants to know what it is. It's a Mason's. I'm glad you don't even have to ask me. I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. It's looking pretty decent. It looks good, dude. I like the front. That lip looks really nice. Yeah? Mm -hmm. No, not yet. This root, kind of like Ryan's. Poke at the I think the root yeah. saved it, dude. That's what I was thinking, but. Might need to dig around. We shall it. see. Yeah, yeah. yeah got to dig around a little bit. It's usually always caked in there because of the compacting. Right nah, it's a piece of something. A piece of a plate, looks like. Something like that, yeah. Right it's on the most bottom. Exciting part of the day is you don't know what's gonna come out. This could be something crazy, and I hope it is. I don't think it's gonna be crazy, but it could be good. I have to get like in there. There's a glass stopper. Kind of a, kind of a neat one. Last stopper. Hopefully, I can get this thing out here in a second. It's kind of. You mean move? Falling asleep. No, I think there's a bottle back there. there. There's another bottle. Looks like the same, same thing. There's another one though. It looks also like the same, same glue thing. Just pop these out. Another, another one of those. Getting there slowly but surely here. Looks pretty, pretty good. It's definitely you gonna. It towards the bottom of it. Yeah, it did already pretty decent, but. Cause I feel like it's just one little spot that's hanging up underneath. There's like a bone or something here, a rock that it's kind of. Um, Do you have the Mustang? I have a charger. Then that's probably it. I seen. Um, yeah, it's kind of in a tough, yep, that's mine. tough spot here. here. I see that. There's more stuff there. There's like a flask. Another glue thing. I'm trying to think of how to get around this thing. I'll probably have to dig whatever this is. If I can and even the, the side of the handle too, so right. The handle might be have a root through it or something. Something, geez. What's the next job to play? There's that out. Um, not Which sure means I could probably get the other yeah, thing out soon. Let's not do that. You guys could come out there we go. Probably that was holding it pretty good. You guys want to check out his yard after this? We'll um, I'd rather do the guy right here that gave us permission. Well, I was just saying if you guys want to get an idea for next weekend. We'll see what time it is and stuff. When we're... Yeah, it's not easy. Should almost be ready. Jeez, I'm already there. almost around it. It's hard. What is that thing? Isn't it a root? This is like a chunk of that. Oh, it's a plate. If that comes off, it should yeah, should be ready. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Plate. There's big stuff pile of in plates. it. There's stuff like all around it. I just saw them go by this way. I'm trying to get this. Okay, no problem. Take these gloves with you and you can leave them on your porch, that way you don't lose them. Okay. But yeah, they're like right over there, I think. Oh, jeez. Oh, there it is. Wow. Cool. 
Dude, it is. Okay. Awesome, dude. Cool. What, it came out? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Wow. It flung out of there. It literally did. It looks like it's a watering pot. Man, it's all intact other than that chip. Yeah. It's got the handle nice and everything. Awesome. Pretty cool, yeah. Wish it was stamped or something, but. Very good. It's pretty neat. Old piece. Definitely, definitely old. See what they just got out? They just got out a jug. Yeah. yeah. Well, pitcher. Yeah, they just I want to grab it by the handle. Yep. It's a careful with the handle, right? Yeah, you just careful with the handle. handle. It can snap right off. That big pop. Come on. Oh, man, my foot. Someone's making it rain on me. Got a bunch of other stuff. I don't know really what, but what the heck was that? A uh, coin purse, maybe. Dude, yeah, actually, kind of. No, it's like... a, it's like a breast pump. It's rubber. Oh, okay. That was like a breast pump piece. It would have been rubber, a b rubber ball, and you'd squeeze it. But they made them like that for years. Let's see what else we can get in here. Packed. Like you gotta, jeez, gotta really be careful. And cup. This stuff is like so tight in there. Uh, I'm trying to get some. Uh, This thing's probably intact. Okay. Have fun. Sounds good. I have some uh, bottles in my car for you when I come over next time. There's more of those things. That's all there is in there. Yeah, for real. That's like the only bottles I've dug so far have been these, I swear. Yeah. Except for way earlier. I'm like not even checking them anymore to see if they're in because. There's like five, there's like they more. Have a big stack of them. Here. Yeah. Please, if you're gonna give us a stack of bottles, can you like have better taste, man? There's something different. Broken though. Beer bottle. It's loaded. Just not with the right stuff. This whiskey's coming. Slick. Three piece mold though. Slick clear. Clear cylinder. Looks like a cap. Yeah, it looks like a cap or Oops. something. Warranted, but look at the neck, dude. It's got like a wicked indent in the front of it. Yeah. Wow. It's kind of cool. Wonky. If there's another piece of stoneware, I call digging it. <laughs> I don't know, but I'll dig it. Another warranted. And the other one's aqua. Pretty much have no hope for it being aqua. But you never know. One of these days we're going to get one and it's going to be embossed. Even like the Fred Hutter from Binghamton would be neat. Yeah. That's aqua. That's square med. Or re like a rectangle med, not a square. It's like a patent medicine. Another ink mm -hmm. bottle. Mm -hmm. I'm curious about this thing. It's coming. Just like right, what we dug in the pit next door, just a little older. Dr. Caldwell's. And dude, it's it's machine made. How? How? I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, it is machine made. Who would have thought a piece of decorated stoneware would come out of a pit like this? I would have thought the first pit, if anything. That's crazy. Well, there's a million more of these, so you guys will have something to look forward to. <laughs> and uh, we're going to clear her out and get back with you when we dig five million more of these things. Tooth bottle? Or oh, something. cool. Yeah, it's like a penny perfume thing. A cool little dead panel. Ring nut. Perfume. Is 
Sorry if I'm kind of rushing my foot on it. How far does it go that way? It's got to be close. No. There's almost looks like part of the wall. Ooh. What was that thing? Ooh. Not just that. Damn. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. I thought it's a nice it was earlier boss. one, yeah. too. Hey guys, Mike's in the hole. He's got a. He said it looks like an amber flask. We're gonna get it's down. Definitely amber. We're gonna get down there and check it out. Watch your hand, Mike. You good, buddy. Oh. Whew. Sorry. It's okay. It's right down here. You guys see that? Yeah. Hmm. All right. It's coming. Oh, dude, it, what? It's a nice looking flask. That's older, older than the other stuff coming out, the bottles. Nice. That's the oldest bottle to come out. It's got no damage. Nice from long what I neck see. on it. Looks like a wicked color. Yeah, it does, dude. Real nice light honey amber. Super nice color. Nice, yeah. yeah. It does have a nice color. It's got a nice big circular. It's an early bottle. base, too. That's probably 80s. Nice, dude. Don't know it's one of the better color. bottles to come out. Yeah. Light, nice light color. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice one. Sweet. Glad to see that come out. Yeah. I told you to get into something over here. Following the seam. Right. And I'm getting into a trash layer. It's a plate. Oh, that's cool. It's broken, but uh, it's got a reference number. Hmm some sort interesting it's pretty decently old transferware yeah. that would been cool that's a nice color cool pattern on it Shane is in the hole can you see the stuff in there yeah you can see it good you got a like a soap dish That looks like something that you hold potatoes on. <laughs> oh, it says hotel on it. Really? Yeah. That must have came from um, the hotels down over there. Yeah, it says hotel right on it. It's a soap dish. <coughs> Flip it over. Right there. Yeah, it does. Hotel. Hotel. More pieces of stuff. It's a pharmacy. Pretty big one. Oh, it's a flask. Oh, it's like a weird flask. Oh, another flask. Oh, that's kind of cool. That looks like the one that I got. It's a Bushu gin. That kind of looks like the one that I got. Dr. C. Bouvier's Bushu gin. Have you seen that, Ryan? I don't think so. Give that to Ryan. No. Does he have more experience? Yeah, a yeah he knows yeah. exactly what to look for. <laughs> That's a pretty cool one, Shane. I don't know. Right? There's another bottle. Yo, show it. There's an amber bottle in here. Oh, that's sweet. Coming out, dude. If that was embossed, come on, like an amber Rexel style pharmacy. That was embossed. If it was, it's a hair bottle. Yeah, a hair bottle. Yeah. They use they use Rexel druggists to uh, use that. Uh, I got a milk bottle. Well, they got a milk. Oh. Yeah. Looks intact. Oh, it's actually, dude. It's actually embossed. Really? Yeah. More than wash and return. Yes. It's a real, true embossed milk bottle. I got you, bud. Hopefully it's intact. Hopefully it's like a nice... Yeah, if you clear off that little top part, I can actually see the bottle right now. Hopefully it's a nice early one. Yep, I can see it. See it? Yep. Nice, dude. It looks pretty good. Kind of looks like the one that I pulled. Kind of. That's what I thought it was going to be at first. The food bottle you pulled? Yeah. It's coming. Oh, uh, bottom's gone. Of course. Milk hey, bottle. It was a pretty gone. sweet one. Is it Great Ben? Yep. Great Ben milk bottle. It was a Keystone Farm Dairy J. Fred Carl Great Ben PA. Jeez. Keystone, I think I've heard that one. It was pretty early ish. Lame. Lame in the membrane. Need a bucket? No. Nah. Probably just throw it to the side for now. Oh, dude. Is it 
that a broken druggist? Yeah, it's cracked. C.H. Selleck, New York. That came from New York? Yeah, like New York City. Oh. oh. Kind of far. Yeah? Easy with it, though. Have you ever dug a bottle before, Grayson? No. Guys, we got Grayson down in there. See that stick behind you, Grayson? Right, right there? Yeah, use that to scrape out around the edges of it. Mm -hmm. Just careful at the top of it. He's about to dig his very first bottle. It looks like it's going to be a Gordon's Dry Gin. Oh, there you go. Getting oh, I found it. another one. Yeah? Right there. Cool. Nice. It's starting to show. Cool, yeah, yeah, I see it. Once you start noticing that big uh, blue one loosening up, then you can try and poke around with your hands and see if it moves. Once you get that rock off the top of it, it should come out. Here, you want to use this? Just careful with the metal. Yeah, you don't want to scratch the bottle. I wouldn't do that too much, Grayson. Just try to kind of scratch it. Yeah, just scratch the dirt away. Because there could be something else in there you don't want to break. And if you get it actually underneath that rock that you were just trying to get out, you might be able to lift up on it like that. Just be careful how hard you're pushing down. Nope. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe from the side. Try on the side of the rock. On the left side of it. Yep, yep. I've completely buried the... There you, there you go. go. There you go. There you go. Now you should be able to get that bottle out yeah, of get there. Yeah, get that bottle. I got gotcha. you. Get the neck of the bottle showing again. You could probably slowly pull it by the neck if it's if it's loose. Next. Don't force it if it's not. Let's go. Get around just a little bit. It's easy and natural. This hurt. shouldn't hurt it too much. If I nah, it. nah. Yeah, it's definitely good. not. That's that actually a smarter right idea. That bottle right there is blocking this one. I think the blue one needs um, to come out first. The kind of clear one. Yeah, yeah, doing good. Stick that uh, stick right down below the bottle. Yeah, right there. There you go. And then lift up. Nice. There you go. It's coming. Yep, you got it. All right, you should be able to get it out now. Pull it right by the nut. There you nice, go. Nice, buddy. You go. Clean that off. There might be one. He's already, he's <laughs> he's already, already looking on for another one. one. Clean her off. Take a look at her. What is that thing? Is it a Gordon? Wipe the sides of it. Yeah, what's it got on it? It's got any writing? Yeah. Yeah. It's a gin. Gordon's, yep, Gordon's dry, dry gin. gin. Double sided too. Cool, nice. dude. Hold that thing up. Hold that thing up for the camera. Sweet. Good stuff. I'm going to get this one out too. Go ahead. Yeah, you can get that nice one Nice and easy with it. <laughs> It's actually pretty crude. It's like his very first bottle, Gordon's Dry Gin. London, England. Sweet. It's from London, buddy. How did you get in Pennsylvania? <laughs> <laughs> That's from, always the question. From a boat. Oh, this looks like a smaller one. Yeah, it's like the one Mike dug. Madison bottle. Yeah. Looks like a cork. You're lucky. This is a nice Gordon's to look at. All the other ones are not as nice. Cool, dude. Yeah, right in there is where you want to be looking. Right where those came out of is going to be the same layer. Usually when you find where the bottles are, you just follow that layer. They call it a vein. Oh, I found. Yep, there you nice, go. Nice, buddy. What's that? I wonder. Nice and easy with it, too. Yeah. Especially since we don't know what it is yeah. yet. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it could be... What color beer is it? Bottle. It's an amber bottle. Really, you think it's a beer bottle? Yeah. Looks like it. It could be another one of those little chemicals. Could be. It's big though. It's bigger than. It's bigger getting than that. longer than it. Yeah. Than the other one. Cool. You're doing good. Yeah, it looks like it's a beer bottle. Nice. nice. Keep scraping right underneath it. Kind of undermine it. There you go. Don't pry it yet. Just kind of scrape. Yeah, just scrape away the dirt. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Just like that. Yep. Until you get it like nice and low below the oh, bottle. Oh, wait a minute. I found another one too. Yeah. <laughs> Save that there one for after. Now you got to be careful when you pry, when you get that one out. You don't want to pry it up against the other one, you know. Is that one coming? Yeah. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh. Nice and slow. Nice. Oh, what, it's what a, is that? It's like a food. That's not a milk. milk. No, not it's a milk. not a milk. It's a it's a food bottle. They used it for bluing paint for sure. or something. They're bluing. Yeah. Oh. It's like purple. The other one ready paste to come bottle. out. What you got? Another glue bottle. Yeah. Cool. Glue paste. Yeah. There might be 
Yeah, it's kind of a weird one. Yeah, it is. Oddball. You see anything else? It's still looking in this area. Yeah, yeah you got another one. Another glue bottle, maybe? Uh, yep, yeah. another glue bottle. Nice. Cool. So far, it's like a six vein. Oh, glass. I pulled this, too, just a little bit ago, Shane. Oh, yeah, ironstone, eh? And this, too. Ah, uh, oh, cool. That would have been a... Oh, it's a piece of the thing I dug earlier. Right over there. Oh, really? Yeah. Awesome. It's like <laughs> a piece of it. Hold that up in the Hold hole and look up. really proud. Hold it the other way. Turn it so that you can see the words. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Nice job, buddy. Sweet. All right, guys. It's a wrap for uh, pit number three on this lot. Got her mostly filled in. We got one more bucket to go. Spread it around and call it a night. It was a pretty good pit. Not a lot of great bottles, but that was uh, saved by these two stoneware beauties. And we did get some good bottles. Uh, this was one of them you guys saw, the, the Utica Druggist. Not sure how rare that one is. We'll have to contact our buddy Fred DiCarlo on that one who collects Utica. A um, couple nice flasks. And, uh, well, you guys saw most of it. So, oh, sorry, Bear. We're going to come back to this lot uh, at some point in the near future and try to probe for more. So stay tuned, and we'll see you on the next one. Ain't that right? All right, guys, we're back at that property from uh, last week. We didn't like how it sunk when we filled it, so we were bringing some more fill. Check this thing out. Whipped this up last night. You're not really digging privies if you don't have one of these. It works really good. That's really, dude, that's really nice. <laughs> I know. Could even get a few jumps on it. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is awesome, dude. I didn't even think of using it like this. For real, that, that works great, dude. It's even better than like the original one. Because it pushes itself back up to you. Yeah. That's the best part. This is like what I should have had in mind. We have bear in the background. I was just thinking about being silly, but. Not for real, that, that actually like is a great idea. Yeah. Anybody that needs to pat and tamp down their uh, Holes, pogo stick, works great. most of the finds all cleaned up not a ton of bottles came out of this pit um, you know as you guys saw but that was definitely made up by these uh, stoneware beauties any day you're pulling decorated stoneware out of the ground is a good day so can't really complain but we did manage some some decent bottles too we got the, the Stegmeier over here the cursive script we dig a lot of these they're not too far from us both fair pa but nice looking bottles and then we got a whoops <laughs> then we got a, a montrose soda here uh, i think this was the first one i had seen at the time we dug this um, but we have since dug i think five or ten more i think that's a pretty common soda out of montrose there but still a cool one and of course the Dr. Caldwell's machine made must have been in one of the top layers or something 
because not many of the uh, bottles that came out were machine made. I think maybe one or two of these cone top inks were too, but what you gonna do? And we got kind of a nice array of flasks here, nothing too fancy or special. One of these days we're gonna dig a nice embossed one. You know, we dig these with a blank slug plate, and every time you see that slug plate, you of course hope it's gonna be embossed, but we have uh, yet to get an embossed one. But I know we will. And we got some other cool finds over here. Uh, this was that uh, this was that soap dish stamped hotel. Where we were digging, there was actually a hotel only like two blocks away, so this likely came from there, which is pretty cool. Hotel right near the railroad. So that was a cool little soap dish. And we got a couple pipe bowls. Cool little doll head here. All the paint's worn off, but nice German porcelain doll. This here, I think this is um, this is definitely like some sort of medical apparatus. Um, I don't know if it's like you know some sort of douche, um, but it's something medicinal, and it's you know definitely old. I think this might be like vulcanized rubber or something. I forget what that material's called. But definitely an older piece and pretty unusual. This thing would have been awesome. I don't think we got it on film when we pulled this. Uh, it was in two pieces, but I ended up gluing it and kind of fixing it. Uh, this was a stoneware piggy bank, and you can see right there, straight, you know, that would have been right where the straight break, right where the hole was, the coin slot on top. But this is just, you know, a really cool piece. Still displays really well from that one side. And it was actually, like, signed I guess I, I don't know I haven't tried uh, looking this up I'm not even sure if I'd be able to to really read it um, it just looks like numbers I guess with maybe initials um, if any of you guys recognize these markings or know who made these you know feel free to drop a comment below and let us know but just a really cool little glazed piggy bank there uh, what else did we get? We got this druggist here, Utica, New York. Our friend uh, Fred DiCarlo digs there, and I think we showed it to him. I think he said it's a somewhat common one, but they, of course, as all druggists, come in different sizes, so it's a decent little size there. And we got a couple perfumes. This here, I'm not sure if we got us digging it on film, but this is another perfume, C.H. Selleck, New York. Another little perfume bottle, and then this little paneled penny perfume there. Uh, we got this stopper, this ink bottle that was kind of a, a weird one there with that top on it like that. And it's smooth, it's not ground, and it's not broken, so that was kind of a unusual there. And we got the Buchu Gin, that was kind of a cool one, I've never dug one of these before. So that was kind of cool to see come out. Real nice crude neck on that. Good looking bottle. A lot of these bottles came out pretty clean. Um, you know, some more so than others. But the dirt was was pretty clean for the most part. So we didn't get a lot of sickness on a lot of the, the bottles, which was nice. Here was the best flask that came out for sure. The one Mike pulled. Real nice color on that. Even nicer than the camera's picking up. Just a a real nice flask and that's an earlier one that's 80s maybe even late 70s there so always nice finding these these honey amber or light yellow strap side flasks and that's pretty much it for the bottles um, we did get this this is just a three-piece mold cylinder whiskey there that stuff out of there would not come clean and I was not going to put forth much more effort trying to clean it, so. <laughs> uh, this one's kind of cool. I think this is probably a foreign bottle. Um, I don't think it's American. Correct me if I'm wrong, but nice crude top on there. And here is the stoneware pitcher. Cleaned up real nice. Has a little chip, you know, chip in the spout and a chip on the side here on the rim but other than that I mean it's pretty pretty good shape 
It's got a hunk of rust still attached on the bottom that I've yet to to get, but overall, definitely a nice piece. Really wish it had like some sort of decoration or stencil or something on it, but just a nice older stoneware pitcher there. Definitely a cool find. And the best thing to come out of the hole, of course, is this decorated uh, ovoid crock. 1840s, 1850s era right here. And that was just an absolute beauty. I couldn't believe that thing came out pretty much mint, too. The only thing is a little bit of uh, chipping on this one handle, the elephant ear handle. But other than that, this thing is just mint. And there's no stencil, there's no, you know, stamp on it. So we're not really sure where it's from. Uh, I did post it to see if anyone might recognize the the decoration and be able to identify the, the potter from that. I didn't get any answers, so if you guys recognize it and might know where it, uh, you know, where it came from, let us know. Because I'd love to know. But, man, that was just a great find. Just a real nice crock there. So, yeah, overall it was a, a really fun dig that yard had some some great stuff in it as you guys saw and we dug um, quite a few houses nearby too our next video is in a different town and we got into the earliest pit that we have dug at this point the house was built in 1810 and we found the original pit digging bottles all the way back to the 1820s 1830s era so the next video is definitely going to be a great one um, some awesome, awesome stuff came out of the ground. You guys are not going to want to miss that. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. And we can see you on the next.